Hey guys, it's Aislinn here with another Mountain King video. Today we'll be trying two potato peeling hacks that are going to help us peel our potatoes faster and hopefully easier. I'm not going to lie, I've already tried one of these hacks and it didn't go so well, but we're going to try round two today. Um, we'll be doing the hacks with a gold potato and a russet potato um, for comparison reasons uh, to see which hack works better for which variety. Let's get to it. Okay, so as I mentioned today, we are going to be trying a potato peeling hack. I've already tried this hack and it didn't work well the first time, but we're going to try it again. So for the prep work for this one, all you got to do is score a line around the potato. Do not cut through the potato. You just want to slice it to create a thin line around the skin. Once that's done, we're going to throw them into a pot and then set them to boil. Okay, so the next hack is pretty straightforward as well. This is the one that I haven't tried. There is no prep work for it. All you gotta do is just put your potatoes, they're a little wet because I washed them, into the pot to boil. Both the scored potatoes and the normal ones that I just put in are supposed to boil for about 20 to 30 minutes. I suspect that it's gonna be nearly 40 minutes because they're bigger. Um, but I'll get back to you guys and then we'll see if these hacks work. Now that both of the prep work is done for the potatoes, we're going to throw them into a pot and let them boil for 40 minutes. If your potatoes are smaller, you can get away with doing the boiling for less time, but these are bigger potatoes, so it's going to take a while. Once the potatoes are done boiling, it's time to peel them. Be careful because they're going to be super, super warm. We're going to peel the scored potatoes first. The skin should fall right off. As you can see, I kind of had a little bit of a hard time at first, but after that, the skin came off really, really nicely. I will say the russet potatoes peeled better than the gold, kind of like last time when I did this hack. The gold ones came off really, really stringy, but I would say overall, they both worked out pretty well this time. Okay, now it's time for the second hack. This one is really, really easy too. All you gotta do is grab the potatoes, cut them in half, put a cooling rack over a bowl and pretty much smush them into the cooling rack. This hack worked extremely well for both potatoes. Once again, the golds had a little bit of a harder time going through the rack, but overall it worked really, really well. This hack is cool in particular because you can go right into making mashed potatoes if you want to. Overall, I would say both these hacks were really successful and you should give them a try. Let us know what you think. 